Hey, it's time for Math at Home Playing Card Edition, Volume 2. Subtraction Compare. For this game, you use all the cards, even the jokers. The kings, the queens, the jacks are worth 10, the aces are worth 1, and the jokers are worth 0. So in this game, we're going to deal all the cards to the partners. And you could have two partners, you could have three partners, you could probably even have four partners. Just want to deal the cards out evenly. This is the exciting part of the game. Let me just stack your cards up. This is my imaginary partner, Susie. She's very good at card games. All right, here's what happens. Each player turns over their top two cards. I got a five and a nine. Susie got a four and a six. Now, you have to decide how to make this into a subtraction problem. So I'm going to say nine minus five. And I know that nine minus five equals four. So my answer is four. Susie's problem is six minus four. And Susie's very good. She knows six minus four is two. So I have a four and Susie has a two. So my answer was larger than Susie's or greater than Susie's. So I get the cards and I stack them up neatly over here. Then we draw two more cards each. I got a five and a two. Susie got a seven and a five. So I know that five take away two equals three. And Susie has seven take away five, and that equals two. So since my answer of three is greater than Susie's answer of two, I get the cards. Let's do it again. I have a seven and a king. Ooh. And Susie has a two and an eight. So I remember that the king was worth ten. So ten take away seven equals three. And Susie has eight subtract two, and eight subtract two is six. So Susie's answer was six, and my answer was three, so her answer is greater than mine, so she gets to have the cards. I have a two, ooh, and a three. That's not gonna be a very large answer. She's got a five, and a, uh-oh. So Susie's got six minus five, and that equals one. And I have three minus two, and that equals one. So since our answer is tied, we need to put these aside and draw two more. I got an ace and a three, and Susie got a three and a nine. All right, so remember ace equals one, so three minus one is two. And Susie has nine minus three, and that equals six. And since her answer is six and my answer is two, her answer is larger, so she gets all the cards from that hand. And she gets to put them in her pile. I have an ace and an eight. Ooh, that might be pretty good. There's an eight and a two. All right, so I know that my problem is eight take away one, and we know that eight take away one is seven. And Susie has eight take away two. And the answer to eight take away two is six. So my answer is seven and Susie's answer is six. So since seven is greater than six, I get to have the cards. One more try. I have an eight and a four. And Susie has a one and a 10. Ooh. So I know that eight minus four and I can figure it out in my head. I can count back, I can use my fingers, whatever I need to do. Eight minus four is four, but 10 minus one is nine. And since nine is greater than four, Susie gets those cards. And we can keep doing this. When we run out of cards, we can go to our discarded deck and play again. And if you really wanna keep going, you can play till someone runs out of cards. All right. That is Math at Home Playing Card Edition, version number two. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.